you know, when when gangster rap uh first hit, um I I didn't I didn't understand that it would become the movement that it had become because um I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that the powers that be was guiding it to become that at the time. You know what I mean? That was a conscious and deliberate thing. And, you know, in in retrospect and and the way that I see it today, like for example, you know, if you notice when uh the majority of the radio stations when they say, you know, back in the days they only go back but a certain, you know, to a certain point. And <clears throat> and they call the 90s in hip-hop basically the golden era. And um, that's a conscious and deliberate thing uh, because of the fact that, you know, the music of the 90s era of hip-hop was some of the best music um, that hip-hop has had to date because of the fact that um, during the 90s, the 90s uh, basically regurgitated most of the 70s music, which you're hearing, which we're hearing in the get down, right? You know, the, 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 uh, the tracks from uh, Diana Ross that became, you know, the joint uh, Biggie did with, with Mace, you know what I mean? Um, Mo Money, Mo Problems. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, and and so all of the songs that um, that fit that uh, that mold and and that were released during the '90s were very successful because of the fact that uh, one thing that I will give uh, uh, Puffy credit for uh, was that he had the vision to make use of all of the radio friendliest commercial uh danceable hit songs from the 70s and he put hard he made Biggie put the hardcore lyrics on them and because they were danceable and radio friendly it took a lot of the sting off of the gangsterism that was indicative of Biggie's lyrics so that's the reason why it it you know it didn't it wasn't such a, a a slap in the face to people who whose palate wasn't ready you know whose musical palate wasn't ready for you know uh gangster rap so that 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 helped soften the blow and help you know uh biggie get ushered in a little more smoothly now if we take a group like n w a you know, uh, they were uh, one of the <clears throat> one of the first beneficiaries of of uh, gangster rap being embraced by the prison industrial complex and and being ushered into uh, mainstream popular music. And um, as a result of that, you know, um, even though people were, you know, they they were not. You know they didn't um have the the softening of of their blow um cushioned by anything like they they was just straight raw you know fuck the police, excuse my language or you know whatever whatever other no, songs that they you know like at the end of the day it was the shock value the the novelty of the shock value of the fact that they were one of the earliest artists to to be marketed that way deliberately. Uh, that's the reason why, you know, why they won because they didn't have, you know, they didn't really have any competition. There was no one else like them at that time uh, saying the things that they were saying. And if they were, um, <clears throat> they didn't have the machine behind them. You know what I mean? Um, uh, that dude, um, What's his dude? Uh, what's the dude's name uh, that first ran um, uh, uh, NWA's record label? The white dude, Jerry. Jerry Heller. Jerry Heller. Yeah, Jerry Heller. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he 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 had the benefit of you know being plugged into you know getting the 
the first early checks of the prison industrial complex's marriage to the entertainment industry. You know what I mean? So, uh, but but uh, all of the music of that era, it was great music, and and even lyrically, um, and yo, mad shouts and love to my brothers uh, forever. Uh, Chuck D, Flavor Flav, and uh, my favorite rap group of all time, PE. Um, right. And uh, shouts to uh, my brother, Dr. Dre, uh, Yella, uh, DOC, Ice Cube, uh, Rest in Peace, Easy E. Um, congratulations to y'all brothers uh, for um, your success on Straight Out of Compton and, uh, and, uh, us sharing uh, the the uh, luxury of being frat brothers in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? Salute. 